We are here inside the Ho National Rainforest. Tamby, you should feel right at home here, right? Just because of all of the lush green trees from where you <laughs> hail from back in Georgia, where yeah. it's lush and green. Okay. My goodness, what did you think I was talking about? So the Ho Rainforest is inside the Olympic National Park. We're here, we're basically on this big northwest peninsula here in Washington State. And this is a park that's on that peninsula. Smile. Your crazy arms out. Oh. <gasps> Tell you one nice thing about being here is that after we've been in basically a desert environment for so long, in New Mexico and Arizona and Utah and all these places, it's nice to be somewhere where it's actually cooler and uh, it's there's rain for goodness sakes. I mean, we we weren't in rain for months and months. We kind of forgot what it was like to be in rain. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's nice being somewhere cool and rainy, isn't it, for a change? Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> the temperature is so nice here. I bet it's not even 70 right now. But uh, yeah, that's one mistake I think we made. Uh, early on was not playing the uh, the seasons and the temperatures very well, but now at this point we're finally in a place that uh, where it's just generally comfortable temperatures outside, and man, it makes all the difference, don't you think, Tamby? Mm-hmm. It definitely does. Look. <sighs> The size of that thing. Speaking of the tree, of course, not my darling petite Tamby. Isn't this thing just humongous? And we're so impressed with these trees. Uh, I really kind of wonder how uh, how we're going to be acting when we're around the the big giant redwoods. You know, this is kind of the most jungly place I feel like I have ever been. The one place that kind of reminds me a little bit of this is actually Cumberland Island in um, Georgia. It's kind of raw and rugged and seemingly untouched a lot like this place is and it, ha it has some big trees not quite as big as these um, and I, I don't remember there being a lot of ferns either but I do remember it being very mossy and jungly and it kind of seemed like a place that was out of Jurassic Park. Look at what we have found here. This is the underside of a tree that has fallen over. Oh my goodness, it is like 20 feet tall. And look at that, there's trees growing out of the top of this thing. <laughs> With all kinds of rocks embedded in it. Oh my goodness, that is nuts. Let's see what the tree looks like. Oh my goodness gracious. This is a huge monster of a tree. <sighs> That thing just looks prehistoric. Pretty stinking wild. I don't know how this video is going to translate with just scene after scene of trees and bushes and moss and mushrooms and stuff like that, but it is so impressive to see in person. Isn't it, ladies? Yes. Yeah, it really is impressive. It's the tree growing out from on top just, of the tree. Yeah, it's Love it here.
I'll tell you one thing I like about this park, Molly. It doesn't seem to be that many people here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least compared to like Yellowstone and Arches and all that other stuff. Yeah. yeah. Less people here. Yeah. I mean, we, we've seen a few people, but they're kind of few and far between. And this is kind of more like the experience I was hoping for with these national parks. I feel so at home out in nature, whether it's in the desert or in the rainforest or at the beach in the Bahamas. It just makes me happy. At the desert? That surprises me. I didn't That's feel fair. I didn't feel as at home in the desert yeah. to to be honest. I mean, it was really cool, but I definitely like being surrounded by green stuff. You know I what do I mean? I like being surrounded by green stuff. And I feel more at home in the green stuff than than I did in the desert, but I don't know. The, there's something different about the desert that I enjoyed too. All but, the pretty rocks and But you're digging this? But I'm really digging this, yeah. This is kind of cool. Can you see how these trees are all in a row like this? Well, what happened was like one big log fell down and then all the little trees started sprouting off that log. And you can really hardly see the old log at all now. But that's why those uh, these humongous trees are all in a nice and neat row like that. Ruby Beach. It's in the Olympic National Park and it's beautiful. Well hang on a second. It's yeah. our it's our first time ever seeing <laughs> the Pacific Ocean. Exactly. That's what's special about uh -huh. it. What do you think Molly? That is the Pacific Ocean. Wow. It's pretty awesome. It looks a lot like the Atlantic Ocean doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, do you know the oh, waves go in the other direction here Molly? <laughs> they crash on the beach from west to east instead of from east to west. <laughs> I'm not sure if that counts as a skip though. I think you need two or more. <sighs> Try again. Why why are you throwing it like a frisbee? Throw it like you're skipping a rock. I don't know how to skip It's for for forehand. Like yeah. Ye huh. You can you're just gonna have to work on that, Molly. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay, you ready? Wait, 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 wait. Alright, go, 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 go! Oh my goodness. Wow, I found. Molly. Yeah. <laughs> First time touching the Pacific. I know. That's really cold. Like my feet are ice cubes. <laughs> yeah. That is super oh, cold. Mommy, look what I found. Oh, that's, that's because cool. Tammy, it's because it's glacier water. It's glacier water. <laughs> yeah. Boy, the the tide must come way up on this beach. These barnacles are way up on this rock. I wonder what the tide is like around here. Got all these little clams or mussels or clams. All right, I made the joke about this being glacier water, but I, I think this is glacier water because th this is actually coming out of the hills over there somewhere. The ocean water is quite a bit warmer than this, but holy moly, your feet would be asleep, frozen, numb if you spent too much time in that stuff. It's got to be glacier water, right? Yeah, I guess so. Molly's having a good time. She does not seem dissuaded at all by this 40 degree water or whatever it is. It is super duper cold. Yeah, that girl stinking loves the beach. Tell you what. And this girl loves the beach too. Although she's not quite this happy.
Oh, what is going on? <laughs> Molly, Molly. Tummy splashing. Oh my goodness. It's a little different from white sand, isn't it? Uh -huh. It's almost kind of muddy in a way. Uh -huh. Huh. Very nicely done, Tammy. Thank you. Hey, you go on ahead. Oh, thank you. I insist. <laughs> <laughs> 